You know, hockey in Vancouver is a special thing. When there's a game on, everyone is wearing the team's colors, sharing past hockey experiences, talking about stats, who's hot right now, and who could use some work. And in the summer, we still talk about the big news for next season, who to look out for, what trades were made, and of course, where the parade should be. But when the playoffs come around, the city's passion really comes out. Flowing onto the streets with pride, with hope that this year is the year. The city gets charged with an amazing electricity, makes it impossible not to care. Every goal scored, you can hear it in the streets, in homes, in cars. People are cheering, cars are honking, and this city really comes together as one. There really isn't anything like it. So here we are in the Stanley Cup Final once again. People have been waiting a long time for this moment. Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here, and this is game day, game six of the Stanley Cup Finals, where my team, the Vancouver Canucks, are finally in it. This is what I've been waiting for since I was a little kid, just for the chance to see them compete for the Stanley Cup, and now here it is, Let's hope, uh, let's hope they get it all. They can win tonight. They win the Stanley Cup for the first time in their history. It's what everyone in the city has been waiting for for 40 years. And it could happen tonight. All right there, friends. Not sure if you can hear me right now, but uh, we're traveling to the game. And it is very, very crowded. And, uh, It took four, four cars, but we made it. <laughs> Alright guys, we're almost there. This is the uh, last little trip we have to go on before we get to watch the game on the big screen outside, so come on. Does this city love its team or what? Check it out!
friends, I just got back from a disappointing Game 6 loss, but the good news is Game 7, at home, Canucks can win it all. This is a moment I've been waiting for my entire life. This is the team I've grown up with. Just a chance to see them win. This is... It's so exciting to actually be able to see them play for the Stanley Cup. Game 7. But, uh... It's going to be a long couple of days before Game 7. We seem to be wearing the same thing. If only I would have known. We want the cup! 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 I tried getting my own chant going here, but uh... We're going to win against Boston, though they're a good team and I respect a lot of their players, didn't really catch on. Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here, and I'm back from Game 7, of course, uh, my team lost. And when you're faced with loss, a lot of people like to look to blame. Now, who do you blame here? Is it our goaltender Luongo for letting in a few soft goals? Or is it our defensemen for not bailing him out when maybe they could've? Is it our offensemen who didn't score enough? Is it the coach for making a few wrong decisions? Is it the referees for making a few bad calls and a few missed calls? Or is it the fans for letting their team down when they needed them the most? Now, not only did the fans act in a despicable way tonight, uh, this is my city. 
I, I like to remember it for all the great things and the great people, not by the acts of a few morons who go out there and they demean the city and they demean themselves by acting like fools. They have no dignity, no respect. They go out there and they, they, they want to start trouble just because the team lost. Yeah, the team lost, all right? I'm upset too. You don't see me going out there and flipping cars and starting fires and hurting people. Now, I know this is just a select few, but it's stupid, undignified, and it doesn't show our city the way it should be shown, the way it deserves to be shown. I believe this is the greatest city in the world. This is the city I've grown up in. This is the city I love. And this is the team I love. I've been a fan ever since I was a little kid. I was a fan when we lost back-to-back -back years in the second round. And I'm a fan today. And I'm a fan tomorrow. I'm a fan for life, regardless of the outcome. I don't care if it takes another 40 years. I'm going to be a fan. That's more than I can say for a few guys down there that decided to start trouble just for the hell of it. Now, this is Foster the Canadian. Check out my next videos. See ya.